This project will be inspired by two pop artists, Brito and Rizzi, and their use of bold colors and patterns. We are going to be focusing on the theme of flowers, and the materials you will need are a black oil pastel or a black crayon, watercolors, any kind will do, a paintbrush, a paper towel might be helpful, some water, and if you are mixing colors, it's helpful to have a palette or a plate that you can mix the colors onto. Let's get started. First, we need to draw out our design. If you do not feel particularly confident going right in with the oil pastel or crayon, you can do this first in pencil and then trace over all of your marks with the oil pastel or crayon. Or if you're feeling very brave and confident, go right in with the oil pastel and crayon and skip using a pencil altogether. We are going to be making a pot of flowers for May Day theme. So the first thing I'm going to make is the pot. So the pot is going to be a low somewhat shallow pot because all of my flowers are going to be filling out this area. Next, I'm going to start with the flowers that are closer to the front. So flowers closer to the front would be larger. And then the flowers behind those might be a little bit smaller and you can use a variation of types of flowers. They don't all have to be the same. So we could actually add some other shapes in here, perhaps more like a tulip shape. Or flowers with even more petals. maybe like daisies. Don't forget that flowers need stems. also add some leaves to your design. And more flowers. Don't forget to place your potted flowers on some sort of surface. So to do that, we can just make a line across and that becomes a tabletop surface. Now is for the fun part of adding patterns and designs. So stripes are a excellent choice for a pattern. Polka dots are another fun pattern choice and actually are one of my favorite patterns. Don't forget to add patterns to your background and your table area. If you do not want to do watercolor paint for this project, you could certainly do this entire drawing with markers, crayons, oil pastels, or colored pencils. 
However, the nice thing about mixing oil pastel or crayon with watercolor is that the oil pastel or the crayon act as a resist containing the watercolor into the area that you choose to paint. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. And this is a watercolor set that I have at home that is really fun because it has layers and layers and layers of colors, um, which is, gives you a lot of choices so you don't have to do as much mixing. But you could also use a watercolor palette like this one and mix your colors as well. So this would work if you wanted to mix colors. Um, it's a great set and it has a selection of colors and a brush and you can mix right in the lid or on a separate um, plate or mixing palette. So let's get started with painting in our project. Watercolors, as you may know, need to be primed to be able to be used. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is priming the color that I'm planning to use for my background. So I am going to be using a light blue background and I'm going to just wet that paint. And once my brush is loaded with color, I can start painting in all of my areas. That is our finished painting, loosely inspired by Romero Brito and the artist Rizzi. Hope you enjoyed making this.